Here's a quick example. Say you start typing and you have VS Code IntelliSense enabled. As you start typing, you're gonna get a ton of suggestions. Generally, you can press the down arrow key or the up arrow key to select which suggestion you wanna use. But with this setup, you don't have to move your hand away from the home row and go all the way to the arrow keys. What you can do is press Command J to go down and Command K to go up. And once you find the specific IntelliSense suggestion you wanna use, you just have to press enter. Hello everyone, my name is Suboptimal and I make videos about full stack web development and productivity. I just wanted to make a quick video on how to set up a Vim key binding for navigating VS Code IntelliSense suggestions. Now I'm making this video because until last week I would always use the arrow keys to navigate and that felt very suboptimal. And I figured that some of you guys might also benefit from learning about this setting. Now I do want to give credit where credit is due because this video would not have been possible without this wonderful Medium article written by this person named Aerie, I think. Check out the article if you want the full details. The link is gonna be in the description box below. And before we get started, I'm gonna ask for one small favor from you guys, and that is to leave a like for the YouTube algorithm. I recently quit my tech job, and now I have no real income, so this is the best way to support me and the channel. Let's start off with just understanding what IntelliSense is. Basically tooling for specific languages like Python, JavaScript, and Java. And whenever you are typing with these languages, you're gonna get some intelligent suggestions. And that's what I assume IntelliSense stands for. Getting set up with this is really straightforward. All you do is search inside of your extensions bar, which you can open by pressing Command-Shift-X. Wait for it. So once you press Command Shift X, you will see the extensions bar in VS Code and just search for Visual Studio in Telecode. Since I've already installed it, well, I don't wanna uninstall it, but this is where you would install in Telecode. And once you do that, the suggestions should start appearing right out of the box. So now let's get into the meat of this video, which is adding the command that allows for Vim commands to be run when selecting suggestions. So you can do this via your keybindings.json uh, file, which you can get to by pressing Command Shift P and searching keyboard shortcuts. Now you can do it with the JSON file, or you can go here uh, into manually into the preferences and change it as well. But this is a lot easier, in my opinion. All you have to do is add these two commands. This is available on my GitHub, so you could find it there. Once you start typing and there are some suggestions, you can just press Command J or Command K to go up. One important thing to note, if you ever start typing, you'll get the suggestions obviously, but if you go back and you erase something and you start typing again, then you won't get those IntelliSense suggestions, but you can always re-trigger it by pressing Control Spacebar. So this is a very common mistake that I make. So for example, say I do something like this, right? And I, you, I mess up spelling meta. What I might do is delete this, change it to E, but now I don't get the IntelliSense suggestions. And this has always been an issue for me. So if something like this happened, what I did previously was just delete the whole line and restart typing. But you don't have to do that. You can just delete whatever you messed up, type E, and then press Control spacebar. And now you can uh, re-trigger IntelliSense to display the suggestions and press Command J and K to go up and down. Now this also works with um, Tailwind stuff. So I have Tailwind IntelliSense, and if I start typing, I could press Command J to go down, Command K to go up and pick whatever I want. So yeah, there you have it. That's gonna be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about using Vim key bindings to navigate VS Code IntelliSense suggestions. Is it a bit overkill to be this picky about your development setup or do you love optimizing the smallest of settings just like me? Whatever the case is, let me know down in the comments below and be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.